Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba, and today I'm going to show you how to mark, divide, and cut your beams and columns uniformly without subjecting yourself to basic and unnecessary calculations. There is a special tool or macro which will save us from all these runarounds in doing this work. That macro is called uh, divide part and it will get started right away and to access the the macro usually you come to this button here and you, the moment you mouse over this you'll be able to read that applications and component so just click on that read button and the macro i'm talking about is dividing part now first of all i'll come to beam i'll come to steel here and click beam here because this is the beam that we want to use we want to i uh, want to show you on how you, you can divide it in uh, in uh, in a simpler way in uh, in parts then i'll snap on that spot and snap on that spot and this is the beam that we want to use we want to divide into into parts mark and divide into parts now i'll double click on this macro here to find this macro just come here and um, applications and component and type divide and this will pop up now if you take a look on this macro here it, it's called divide part and we have all this or we have all these parameters in place and we can feed the right information that we intend to use on this beam now in this case we have number of parts and uh, and a part not to draw or delete original part so basically the key part the key slots are normally this one and this one here so i'm going to use these two first now the moment you've invoked this macro here you can see the instruction here pick the part and this is the part we, I'll, I'll go ahead and pick on that then i'll zoom close i bring it close so that i can pick position as it is here as as requested by the by the by tecla structures now i'll snap on that spot and give it some time to process that information and uh, immediately the color changes and you can see it has been split into several uh, parts so that is, is it, it, it that one depend on the instruction we fed here on, on number of parts you want to be divided and also another thing another thing we can do is is also we can uh retain the original part uh, you can come here and uh, select delete original profile note and explode uh, connection note select on that then drag that up and click apply modify that now if i come to undo and come back to uh, that component and come here and select on this and select a position here you'll be able to see we have the original part which is green so what can we do with that we just double click on this sign of macro here and uh, click this drop down arrow and click uh, delete the original profile and click modify and the original profile will go you can bring it up back because we intend to uh, further uh, customize this uh, uh, division into different measurements now i'll double click on that and the moment the moment double click on this green cone this will bring this uh, this dialog box up now i don't need to divide this into 10 parts i need maybe six of that then i'll click modify and you'll be able to see this you can see that you can also there are several options but the common ones are these you can get rid of the original by coming by double clicking on, on the macro symbol here macro active symbol here then come here and we want to delete the original and click that apply and, and accept that then what do we do there's another way also now you can play around with all this you can select on this and maybe and and maybe you can select on that and maybe bring it up copy it up here and that's all you can move everything up you can arrange it the way you want it to be done and bring that one up that is upon you whatever you want to do with all these divisions or uh component cuts cut out from the beam now i'll come to auto co auto connect because uh, i want to show you another way of connecting all these beams now i'll, I'll to come to auto connect here and double click on uh, auto connect the part 
uh, or to connect the selected parts but i've not selected any any of these parts now i'll select all these press control and select all these select all these then i'll come to auto connect the selected parts i've not selected everything i've left i've left this one out now the moment i click on auto connect selected parts you'll see everything gets connected and if you if you, if you bring this close you'll be able to see this has been con uh, has been connected now it's upon you to customize your your splice connections now the way it looks by to, uh, by customizing it you just double click on this connection and you'll be able to play around with this splice connection here Thanks a lot for watching and let's meet on the next presentation and uh, we'll uh, walk I'll walk you around on on all on every way on uh, on every way on how you can make and use Tekla in a simpler in, in the simplest way without a, a, a hassle I mean hassle free not digging deep into your brain on, on wondering how how will I do this and how will I not do this now let's meet on the next uh, next presentation and don't forget to subscribe i'm Morris dimba and bye bye let's meet then